Hey guys, Joe here. In the last video, we talked about tier two of my tiered gear system, which is on body EDC, the everyday carry items we carry on our person or in our pockets, maybe because it's really important, like a wallet or phone, or it's because it's something we use a lot and don't want to dig out of a bag, like a pencil and a notebook. Now we're going to build on top of that. That stuff is still in our pockets, still on our person, but we want to carry a little bit more, be even more prepared for life's daily inconveniences. So we're going with tier three, an off-body EDC, or everyday carry items we carry in some sort of small bag, purse, man bag, whatever you want to call it. I prefer to call it a man purse, one, just because I don't really care, and two, because I like the reaction I get out of the supposed non-fragile alpha males that pretty much piss their pants when they hear the term man purse and get all upset. If you're one of those people, cry about it in the corner, don't care. So my man purse is something that I really like. This is probably my favorite tier of carry because you can do so much with it. But you got to remember that these are EDC bags. These are small. We want them five liters or less. And if we're going to go big, probably no more than 10 liters, maybe something like this North Face Mini Borealis. It's a mini backpack. You can't really fit it on screen or something super tactical like this fanny pack bum bag, if you will, from Maxpedition. We don't really want to go bigger than that they have their place but for edc we want to keep it small we want to keep it light we want to keep it necessities only we will talk about work bags diaper bags as well as things like emergency bags in later tiers this is just everyday carry now i do recommend you go with black bags just because they blend in very well but the you know joy of this tier is they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes you got kind of old school camera bags like the jansport weekender something similar is the north face jester east pack has a version of these uh, i like jansport they're perfectly fine for what they are you can also get you know your typical bum bag or fanny pack this is a really nice sleek one from Brandit. again like with the maxpedition they come in huge tactical variants you can even get ones that are probably pink with little rainbows on them really doesn't matter. I do actually have one that is around here considered a drug dealer bag. This is a fanny pack that glows in the dark. It has neon green 90s kid imagery because I am a 90s kid. Aliens, pizza, UFO, all sorts of stuff. This is really cool. And I have one that's kind of like a cool pouch, tech pouch, that also can have hooks on it for the strap that's inside to become kind of like a slim purse. Uh, so I've got lots of bags. There's lots of stuff you can do with this. Really find something that's comfortable to carry that really fits your body shape, your personality. And do understand that certain ones that are really cool like this do have negative connotations associated with them. So if you're carrying that around town, you're more likely to get stopped by the fuzz than you are with something like this, which is why most of my bags are just straight black. Now, in terms of the contents, this is going to be very specific to me. Some of it's going to make sense. Some of it's going to be a little weird. So just remember, this is not me telling you you have to carry these things. This is not a laundry list of stuff to buy. I don't do affiliate links. I don't do sponsors. This is just works for me. And take it and incorporate it if it'll work for you. So in the front pocket here, I have got hearing protection. These are HDX, just cheap ones from like Lowe's, Home Depot. They're conical or pyramidal shape. They drop sound by 26, I believe, decibels, which is enough to protect your hearing in most common loud situations. Understand if you're wearing Hearing Pro, you got to pay more attention with your other senses, especially your eyes, because you could easily be hit by a car because you don't hear it coming. I also have a knockoff buff in here. This is just something where if it gets damaged, I'm not really gonna care about it. It has some SPF protection, so I put it on my head or around my neck in case I forgot my hat. You can also get this wet and put it around your neck for evaporative cooling. I also, as I mentioned before, in tier one clothing, I use this for privacy. I'll put it up over my face in case some dickhead kid is filming a TikTok and I don't wanna be in it. I can just cover my face. Now, when I'm being a dickhead, because my blood sugars are low, I also keep some candy in here. These are just Starburst sticks. They're just a Starburst in a stick form, pure sugar, and it'll get me to stop acting like a cranky diva when my sugar is low. Moving on to this, inside, right off the top, I have a little restaurant packet. This has salt, sugar, sugar alternatives, Alka-Seltzer. I've got toothpicks that are bacon flavored, because why the hell not? And I have wet wipes in here, just because some restaurants are busy, you kind of just grab your food and get out of there. You might forget to grab stuff, so I got it. Going off of that, there are also some restaurants that are not very good about restocking their bathrooms. So I have a little bar of 
hotel soap essentially, and some hand sanitizer that I bring with me, especially if I'm going to go into the restroom to make sure I can actually clean my hands. Don't be disgusting. Wash your freaking hands, especially you dudes out there. I see how all of you guys walk out. Wash your damn hands. Uh, when it comes to hand sanitizer, please don't make your own. A lot of people have been doing that during the pandemic, and they are getting horrific chemical burns. My recommendation is above 70, because anything below 70 really doesn't work well on bacteria and viruses. And don't go over 80, because that's really where you start getting the risk of chemical burns, hand irritation, and dryness at the very least. If you go 90 and above, that's where you're for sure going to start getting your chemical burns, and that's no fun. So bar soap and some decent hand sanitizer. Definitely a way to go. I got a little just loose hank of paracord here. This is just for replacing shoelaces, stuff like that. Now I've also got a little plastic baggie. This is just to use as an impromptu trash bag, whether I'm eating out and just walking around town or I see garbage around. I'm a good Samaritan. I try to clean the public areas up. Don't pollute. You're a dickhead. Word of the day. Now going on, I've got some weird stuff in here. I've got these guys. These are just old glow in the dark type sticks, snap them, they work. You don't need fancy chem lights. These are mostly to entertain kids. You can put them on a string and whip them around for fun or for emergency signaling if you wanna be tactical about it. Also, I've used these for measuring water depth. I live in an area where sometimes the city will flood up because their drainage system sucks and they've even had cave-ins or sinkholes. So if you are driving at night, you can't really easily tell that from the surface of the water. Break one of these suckers, throw it in or put on a string and whip it in and fish it out. It can tell you kind of roughly how deep the water is and if you can drive through it or if you can't going on kind of in that same odd vein i've got some brightly colored zip ties here if i have to work on my car at night and say i have to look away say a police officer checks on me and so i have to get up and talk to them i can immediately know what i was working on especially on my old car it is a sea of rust here in new york state uh, so putting these on there and knowing right where I was working is a really great way to get back to what I was doing and get off the side of the road. Also, again, for kids, you can just mark areas where say, hey, don't go past the bright colored zip ties, kind of like an impromptu fence, but again, cut them off, don't litter. That is not a cool thing to do. Next item in here is a power bank. This is a 5,000 milliamp hour anchor power bank. You wanna get a good one, don't get a cheap power bank. It may be the same milliamp hours, it may be also a 5,000, but it won't last as many charges. So say if this does 100, the cheap one might do 50 or less. So you're paying the same price for something that'll last half as long, just get the good one, just go with Anchor. Uh, they're a very, very good company. It has a little button on here to tell me it's fully charged. 5,000 milliamp hours is enough to charge my phone almost two times. It's about 1,000 milliamp hours short, but I can charge my phone once. Again, this is not for emergencies, this is for EDC. And then I can charge my flashlights and stuff off of this multiple times. So 5,000 is enough for me for an EDC charger. I have a larger one for other tasks later on in my tiers. Reaching in here further, I have a little whistle. This is not a dog whistle. If you can hear it, it's not a dog whistle. This is just for emergency signaling or playing around. Uh, this is something where it's going to be very situational if it's for an emergency situation. Say you're in a city with a lot of buildings and stuff, this isn't going to do well. Get something like a ladybird, something that's a very sharp electronic device. Uh, those will be much better heard and much more understood as an emergency signal than this little itty bitty whistle. And if you're in the mountains or something just walking around, this isn't going to be very heard well unless you're on top of the mountain. Reaching in here further, I also have a backup knife. If someone asks me for my knife, I'm not handing them a two, $300 knife. I will hand them this one. If they break it, I really don't care. I will only handle my good knives and give them to other people if they're a knife person. Otherwise, they get the crappy one. I also have a little first aid kit in here. This is just a boo-boo kit. I've got some surgical masks and gloves to keep blood out of my face and off cuts. I've got band-aids, cough drops, lots of other things. One thing that I have, which will be a kind of controversial, is this thing right here. This is a mint container, and inside it is a bunch of pills and medications, some of which are in dime bags. Don't be an idiot like me and do that. In some jurisdictions, that's straight up illegal. You need to have it in an original container. And even in my jurisdiction where it is illegal to carry it like that, I'm probably going to get some concerned faces from police officers if, for whatever reason, they search my stuff and see that. They're probably going to think I am dealing. So... Don't do that. And I got one last thing in here, my grandma item. A little pack of tissues because you never want a snivelly nose. So 90-year-old Joe carries them. And that's it. That's all I carry in my off-body EDC. Certainly you can, again, go bigger if you need it. Something like a North Face 
mini borealis something like that big tactical fanny pack that man expedition does it's like the octaversa pack or something i'll be sure to link to it there's lots of bags out there lots of styles but again you got to remember at the end of the day this is edc everyday carry it's not a, an emergency bag it's not a work bag it's not all these other things it's just stuff for when you're going to the mall grocery store going to the park just little things that give you a little bit more functionality just in case something happens like somebody skins their knee your phone dies you got a kid that's bored and screaming i got stuff to handle that as well as kind of dingy bathrooms and whatnot so with that said we're going to move on to tier four our activity bags these are bags designed with a specific purpose in mind it'll be a fairly quick video because it's going to be very unique to you and then we'll move on to tier five our emergency bags which is kind of like a subset of activity bag that really deserves its own video so until then stay safe stay informed tell someone you love them kindness is in short supply these days and it can really help someone out so be nice to people See you in the next one.